Hi family, welcome back into our channel. This is Prophetess Nikki and I am so excited to deliver this word of encouragement for you. First, before we dive into this video, I just want to just take a shout out, send a big shout out to all of my subscribers, all of you all who are joining our channel memberships, those of you who are praying for us, those of you who are interceding for us daily. We love y'all so, so very much. We want to thank you for doing that. We want to thank you for your cash apps, your super thanks, just every single thing that you all do daily to help the channel become what it is because without you we wouldn't be here family of god so thank you so very much i want you to know family of god your distance let me tell you all something you made a decision to become distant and in the eyes of some people you know they're going to look at that as disrespect when you avoid people who disrespect you and whenever the tables turn and you become distant, they say you're being disrespectful. In life, only give a person one time to disrespect you. I'm serious. You forgive people. You don't take it to the chest. But you got to know how much value that you have. You have to know that if you give people an opportunity to keep disrespecting you, to keep lying to you, to keep manipulating you, because they think you're simple-minded. They think you're stupid. If you allow people to keep doing that, don't you know they're going to continue to do that? I want to advise you strongly not to do this. This is why it's so, so important to have self-worth. It's important for you to build up your self-worth, your self-respect, your self-value. This is why it is so essential for you to take time for you. Do things that you like. Do things that you love because that's very important you chose distance over somebody's disrespect and now they're heated and now they're bothered people are going to always be bothered and people are going to always be heated when you choose yourself over their disrespect they're not going to like it they're not supposed to like it because what they think they're going to get out of it they're not going to get out of that out of it anymore so they're supposed to be heated. They're supposed to be upset. And you're supposed to love yourself enough not to allow not one person on this planet to dishonor you and to disrespect you. Here on our channel, we speak so much about love for you, self-respect, valuing who you are. Because when you value who you are, you are not going to allow somebody else to devalue you. Don't ever allow another person on this planet to devalue you. Don't ever do that. Because it shows a lack of respect that you have for yourself. In life, people are going to respect you two ways. They're going to either respect you and honor you and draw closer to you. Or they're going to honor you and they're going to respect you from a distance. Give people one time to disrespect you. It's not being mean. But it's going to show people that you have boundaries set in place. And if you want to be an intricate part of my life, if you want to be a permanent part of my life, you are going to have to respect my boundaries. You are going to have to respect my standards. You have to have standards. If you don't have standards in life, you're going to fall for anything. You're going to accept anything. I mean, bad things, things that are toxic, things that are narcissistic. You're going to accept people who are toxic. You're going to accept people who are narcissistic. And they're going to play these mind manipulation games with you, family, because they know you don't value who you are. Some people think you're so desperate for their love and people think there's, that you're so desperate for their attention. You got to be careful because when people view you that way, they're going to test you. They're going to test the waters with you to see how much they can get by. This is why it is so, so, so essential. And I encourage you all, all the time to pray and stay before God and listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, because God is not going to lead you wrong. If a person is not having good intentions toward you, God is going to reveal to you in a way where you're not going to deny it. Let me tell you something. If you are in this situation when you're unsure of an individual, I want you to go in prayer. And I mean, I want you to go into that hot, fervent prayer. And God is going to reveal to you the heart of this person. God is going to reveal to you the intent of this person. 
Now listen, family, listen up. When God reveals this, when God shows you that intent, why do you think God shows you that intent of another individual? He's going to show you this so you are not confused. God is not the author of confusion. He's not. God is not the author family of confusion. Not God. You chose distance over disrespect and people are not liking that. Now they think you're being disrespectful because you chose distance. You uh, ch you chose to be avoidant. And they think these and they're saying now that you're disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. See, that's a psychological game that people play when they want to control you, when they want you to do things that they want you to do. You, are, you have to be wise, people. You have to be so wise. And you have to stay before the Lord. You have to stay on your face in prayer. You have to see God for everything because the enemy is roaming. He's searching. He's looking. What is he looking for? He's looking for people whom he can devour who he can eat up, who he can swallow up. He wants to destroy the lives of God's chosen people. That's what he wants to do. And what better way to do that than send a person in your life that is not authentic? What better way to destroy you than to send a person in your life to do it? Be careful, family, of people wearing masks in your life, people being false. But in this season of your life, these masks are going to fall off. God is going to reveal the heart of people to you. And he's going to do that because he loves you enough not to allow you to be destroyed. God doesn't want his kids to be destroyed. So warning comes before destruction. You're going to see the flags. You're going to see these signals. You're going to see the signs. So when you see these signs and when you see these signals, you cannot disregard not one of them. You always choose distance over disrespect. When people disrespect you, they feel like they have a right to do it. They will accuse you of the disrespect and they won't take accountability and they won't take responsibility for the things they say to you. This is how you know that God didn't send you this person because they're going to guilt trip you. They're going to make you feel bad about the decisions that they're making. That's a guilty conscience. When you make a decision to choose you over disrespect, when you make a decision to choose distance over disrespect, people will say you are the most disrespectful person on God's planet. Let them say it. They know you're not easily to be manipulated. They know you're nothing to be played with family of God. Personally, I had an email and this is why we're addressing this in this video today. Give people one opportunity to disrespect you. This is not an accident when people disrespect you. It's not a coincidence when people disrespect you. How people feel about you. You watch how they treat you. You watch how people talk to you. Don't be confused. You never have to be confused. God will never leave his kids confused. If you really want to know the intent that people have for you, if they genuinely care for you or not, Listen how people talk to you. Look at how they treat you or not treat you. Look at how consistent or inconsistent that they are. Do they take accountability for what they say to you and do to you? Do they take responsibility for what they say and do to you? Dive into the word of God so that you can know who you are and what you have a right to have. Because whenever you know who you are, you're not going to accept things less than what God says you have a right to have. Don't forget, family, you are more than enough. You are an overcomer. And how are you going to do that? You're going to overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your own testimony. Never be ashamed of where you come from because what, where you come from and the things that you've endured, the things that you've gone through with has made you this person today. You're more stronger. You're more wiser. You are. So thank God for the trials and the tribulations that you face. These are difficult times that we're in. These are challenging seasons that we're in. God never promised us a road would be so easy. He never 
promised us that things would not become difficult or chaotic in our lives, but he did promise us this. He said, I will be a very present help in the time of your trouble. If you are in trouble today, God is your present help. Run to him because he is your fortress and he's your strong tower. And as his righteousness Righteous kids, we are to run to him where we are safe. You are not safe outside of the ark of safety. We are not safe outside of God. We're not. I don't care who people are, what position that they hold, who they know. You you and I, we better know who God is. We better know who he is. And when we know who he is, we're going to do our best to live accordingly. People think you're disrespectful now. Why do they think you're disrespectful now? Because you made a decision to become distant over their disrespect. You chose you. You have to choose you. You don't wait around in life for people to choose you. Don't ever do that. Don't sit around in life and twiddle your thumbs and wait on somebody to choose you. No, family. Don't waste your life away. They're not worth that. And when people genuinely and authentically love you, they're not going to put you in that position. Don't forget to like our videos, family. Don't forget, forget to subscribe to our channel. Keep hitting the like button. I want you all to just to tear that like button up, family of God. Just keep smashing that like button. Go back to those pre-recorded videos, the pre-recorded lives on our channel. Support all of that because I believe and receive that there is something in that video, in that message that God wants you to hear. You're already free, not trying to become. You're already free. Why? Because God said whom he has set free is free indeed. You're not bound unless you think you're bound. As a man thinketh in his heart. So you see, before I go family, don't forget, don't get scammed. You see the scammers, I'm not reaching out to anybody. Go give somebody a hug today, family of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.